Hey everybody, welcome Will here at the Press Start TV. We're here at E3 2016. We're at the Brendan, the senior, what's your role again? Senior manager <laughs> of operations uh, of Square Enix. Square Enix, uh, Final Fantasy 15 VR. This was a little bit of a shock at, at the briefing. I, I, we were talking earlier that yeah. this is kind of, people were like, well, I didn't kind of expect this. Um, where did this come from? What was the inspiration behind it? Uh, they wanted to be able to provide a, a different type of experience within uh, the Final Fantasy 15 universe. So being able to play as Pronto, uh, kind of trying to find an experience. And the dev team, the developers were able to uh, work on this without really slowing down the process of actually completing Final Fantasy 15 on time. So they wanted to be able to provide a little bit something extra with that. Excellent. So tell us a little bit about what we can expect from the game. Is there, like, uh, how many gameplay hours can we expect to get out of this? Uh, for the virtual, uh, for the VR experience, uh, they, it's really early in development. Sure. So there's not really, uh, they haven't really finalized how far they're going with it or everything that's going to be included. So we are taking a lot of feedback from people who are here, who are coming in and trying it out and trying to be able to provide that to give them a better idea of the kinds of experiences that people might want to uh, have within the game. Yeah, and VR is such a, uh, obviously, a, a very fresh and hot technology right now. Uh, and all things Final Fantasy, I mean, Final Fantasy, you have the, the TV series that came out, kind of introducing people, the, the movies yeah. uh, that came out, kind of, again, so you're, everybody will be familiar with the characters before they even get to the game. Um, I, I just think it's great that you're experimenting with, with VR. What, uh, who, I, I was a character with a gun, I mean, what other experiences are you guys going to introduce with this? Uh, they're not sure right now again it's really early in development and so they're trying to figure out what kind of experiences people want so that's why we're providing them with the feedback uh, and trying to figure out I think ways that they can use this to provide a different type of experience within the game. Do you have any estimations on when we can expect to get our hands on this? They do not have uh, an estimated time for it yet because it's really early in development and a lot of the focus is definitely on getting 15 out. Uh, but uh, they are looking at this as some type of future content, more type, more of a DLC type content oh, than sure. actually just a part of the... I think it's good to integrate the, the PlayStation VR as well. Tell us a little about the character, Prompto. I mean, ha why pick that one? Uh, they didn't really provide too much information on that. I think it's uh, it actually gave an opportunity to uh, use him within this uh, within this uh, experience, sure. kind of more with the the gun and shooting, uh, being able to move around, yeah. and uh, so I think being able to also be up close or get a di in distance so you can kind of get multiple experiences depending on how you like to play. Now, was I the best at that or what? I, I just totally crushed You that did one. do a pretty good job <laughs> of it and uh, definitely uh, getting out in front, especially with the, uh, uh, with the attacks uh, when you get the, the critical attacks and the, the rapid fire, definitely getting out there in front and being able to target the weak spots with that really helps move you through that quicker. It's so cool to see the Final Fantasy characters in a VR universe. And and I think a lot of people are going to get into it just because of that. But it actually played very well. Um, I mean, I, I really enjoyed it. I think, I think it was outstanding. Um, and so uh, any ideas of when this DLC, I mean, the game's coming out September 30th, right? Yes. Uh, but when can we expect to get our hands on this? Uh, that's definitely something to be announced. Sure. They haven't uh, really set a date yet that we can uh, give any information on. Well, Brent's not giving us any information <laughs> right now. But um, thank you for joining us. I really appreciate thank you for it. trying it out. It, it was excellent. It feels great. It Plays great. Check it out. If you get a chance to do a demo or anything else that comes available when when PlayStation VR comes out, get a hold of this. This is great, Brandon. Thank you so much. Really thank appreciate you. it. All right. Pleasure. Thanks.